Prince Harry's ups and downs with the royal family over the years, from royal exit to Meghan Markle tell-all and more. Hello and a very warm welcome to Royal Media News Channel. Not all tea and sympathy. Prince Harry has always been one of the most jovial members of the British royal family, but he hasn't always gotten along with his own relatives. The Invictus Games founder is the youngest son of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana. As children, he and his older brother, Prince William, seemed inseparable, but as they got older, cracks began to form in their relationship. There's always been a part of Harry that felt like he was living in his brother's shadow, an insider told us weekly in November 2019. He doesn't envy the responsibility that comes with being the future King of England, but William's the golden boy, and Harry feels like he has a lot to live up to. The rift between the brothers grew wider in March 2021 when Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, opened about their decision to step back from their royal duties in a tell-all interview with CBS. During the TV special, the Sussexes accused unnamed members of the royal family of racist behavior. In particular, they alleged that one person had asked questions about their son Archie's skin tone ahead of his May 2019 birth. They welcomed their second child, daughter Lilibet, in June 2021. Days after the interview, the Duke of Cambridge responded to the accusations by saying, we're very much not a racist family. One month later, the brothers reunited at the funeral for their grandfather Prince Philip, who died in April 2021 at age 99. Though they were photographed walking together after the ceremony, a source later told us that the duo still had work to do to mend their relationship. Harry did speak to William while he was in the UK, so in that respect, they made some progress, the insider said at the time. But they definitely haven't reached the stage where all is forgiven, nor have they buried the hatchet. Harry's dynamic with his father has also been strained since he and Meghan decided to step down as full-time working royals in January 2020. When the former military pilot visited the UK for Philip's funeral, he and Charles didn't manage to fully move past the tension caused by the CBS tell-all. They barely communicated, a source told us in April 2021. There definitely continues to be a huge wedge between the two. Keep watching for a look back at Harry's ups and downs with the royal family over the years, some of the tension between William and Harry dates back to 2016 when the Archule co-founder started dating Meghan. According to royal reporter Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand's book Finding Freedom, William encouraged his brother to take it slow with the suits alum, but Harry didn't appreciate the advice. Harry was pissed off. That his brother would ask such a thing, the authors wrote. When Harry and Meghan tied the knot in May 2018. William served as his brother's best man. The Duke of Cambridge is honoured to have been asked, and is very much looking forward to supporting his brother, Kensington Palace said in a statement at the time. After a British newspaper published a letter Meghan sent her father, Thomas Markle, Harry issued an unprecedented statement calling out the British tabloid press for false and malicious reporting about his wife. Put simply, it is bullying which scares and silences people, he said in October 2019. We all know this isn't acceptable, at any level. We won't and can't believe in a world where there is no accountability for this. Do you blame Meghan Markle for all that happened to Harry? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like and share this video with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos about the royal family.